This video is about saving your um, print files to PDF. And I'd like to address some of the things in the print file options. So go to File and Print. And sometimes you want 100%, which may or may not show up on the first page. And that will give you what the design is at 100%. And sometimes, I, you know, that, and you would use the 100% when you uh, want to place it on a garment or something and see exactly where it's going to land. But sometimes I just say 25% and it reduces that big old picture file to 25% and then just gives me my thread information like I and, and that's pretty much what I wanted for most of my lessons. Um, you can pick and choose what to include in your printout. A lot of the times I don't waste my ink and print all of that stuff out. And then you're also going to go into the print setup and how are you going to print this and if you want to print it to PDF on my computer I use Microsoft products so I do have a Microsoft print to PDF you're looking for something like that um, before Microsoft came out with the PDF printer on their own I used to use a free program called Bullzip and you would, instead of saving as a PDF, you'd print to PDF. So you choose print to PDF. And then you would say, OK. And then you would do the print. Make sure it says print to PDF. And then you're going to click OK. And a screen is going to come up and it wants to know where you want to put your PDF. So I recommend um, either creating a folder that you put your design and your PDF and everything in and um, put that within your My Designs folder in your Premiere Plus software or keep it in a place where you know where you're printing your PDFs to. Okay, thank you. Bye.